I love the calzone. So our chef Richie created this pasta dish with cavatelli essentially, um, and the squash and the sausage and the sage. And we found that it works, that sauce works so well with everything, pizza, calzones. All right, sausage and squash calzone, naturally leaven pizza dough we do here in house. We've had this pizza mother alive, or Richie has, our chef, for a good seven years. Um, calzones start out as a pizza. The calzone is pretty cool because of the vinegar and the honey and the sage and the squash. Um, that flavor combination, kind of unbeatable. We, some of the best work that he's done, um, and it's been on our menu since he's created this as special. Again, you know, keeping it local, Maria Kretschmann is doing um, a cider house for um, cider, and she started to make to make vinegar. All those apples are grown on their property, so it just made sense, I guess, for her to transition into a little bit of vinegar with the leftover ciders. So we have local Santa Farms sausage. The squash that we picked up from Sweetwater Farms. Two things about that vinegar, it's raw. There's a live mother in there. It's really, really, really good for digestion. You'll notice that some of the things that we do here are health forward, like the charcoal pasta. The charcoal is actually really healthy for you to eat. Same with the, same with the vinegar. Now for the fun part. Take your calzone, smash the front together, leave the sides still open so you can smash the air down. A little flour so we're not sticking. Make sure you're happy with the shape. So we took the top of the calzone just so the pressure doesn't build up on the inside and it can steam out. That's really the only reason, but it's really fun to watch. Fun and, and delicious when the things that are inside the calzone kind of bubble over and brown on the top. I love that. And you have the acid from the vinegar just working so well with the cheese in that dish. It's, it's really perfect. Get a hot oven. Uh, turn your oven up as hot as you possibly can. I would like to, if you have two racks, I would put the one rack in the middle and I would put cast iron pans on the bottom just to create more of a, of a, of a heat source. Throw the calzone in, into your baking stone or into the top rack of your oven and let it cook until it's essentially bubbly and starting to burn on the outside. My family on my mother's side and my father's side uh, are all from Southern Italy. You know, I've been working in the restaurant business since I was 15. Um, literally started working at McDonald's and then decided to elevate my cooking style to the local Pittsburgh Italian restaurants like Silvioni's and Rico's and Campolini's. My family cooks Italian food obviously all the time and very well. Every Sunday, my grandmother would invite the enti our entire family um, for Sunday dinner. And it would start very early in the morning and people would be in and out all day long. And we would eat, we, we would eat like you wouldn't believe. There was food everywhere and it was so delicious. I wasn't real happy with the food that I was serving or eating at the restaurants that I was working at compared to what my family was making. So I tried uh, to, I applied it Lydia Lydia's in the strip in 2001 through Lydia and the chef that I worked under, Craig Richards. I was able to travel and cook and learn and really hone my skills with chefs from all around the world. My passion has always been in Italian food. And we had this opportunity to open up a, a restaurant next door to Burgers that already had a Neapolitan pizza oven in it. So I got a hell of a deal with uh, the landlord and my wife and I decided to, to do it. So we, we, you know, we opened Della Terra. I believe it was 2013. So we decided that we were gonna do naturally leavened dough and we weren't gonna do traditional Neapolitan pizza. We were gonna take Neapolitan tradition and the table of the Neapolitan style pizza and kind of do our own thing. So we naturally leaven our dough. We use local products, um, hand pulled mozzarella, things like that. And then my passion of everything, what I love to do the most is, is make pasta. So when we opened Della Terra, we opened it as a pizza and pasta place only and we, um, we put everything we had into making it the best we possibly could. The town fell in love with it, so we, uh, we kept doing it. We were able to, to, to get this beautiful space a couple years ago, so 